that's delicious. Oh my god. Hey, I'm Jade Thurwell and this is Sev. Each week I'm joined by some of my favourite drag queens as we take on a different food challenge. All judged by the OJ Queen, me mum, Norma. You better slay in that kitchen. We're serving you gossip, we're serving you guests, and knowing my luck, I'll probably be serving you something inedible. Jesus, it's hot in there. Oh! One queen, one theme, one package of random ingredients, and just one culinary cook off winner. We're ready to serve. Did the other one? <laughs> Love it. Time to dial in today's queen. She is British royalty with an iconic look. She's harsh. She's very, 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 very harsh. It's Jodie Hall. Hi. Hello. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. Yeah, not too bad. Is that me on your t-shirt? That's amazing. Is this unofficial merch? Yeah. Are you selling those? <laughs> yeah, it's una we got it made especially, but I do feel like you could bring out a merch collection of this t-shirt. Yeah, I think so. I like it a lot. Yeah. Can you I'll make send me you one, one? Yeah, I'll send you one in the post. Yeah, thank you. It's been a while since I've seen you, hasn't it? Oh, we've I missed the dance floor with you. Same one. So thanks so much for, for doing me show today. Now, as you know, this is a big epic culinary competition yes. overseen by the icon herself, me mam Norma. So yes. uh, yeah, as they say, speak of the devil and the devil shall appear. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you actually look amazing, doesn't you? Oh, I love it. I'm loving this hair. Very fifth element. Yes. Very fifth element. Have you met before at me party? We've met, yeah. We're in Spain, weren't we? We had dinner. Yeah, oh, good times. Do you want to explain the theme of this week then, Mum? In honour of Geordie's iconic wig, I thought this week's theme could be hair, hair, all hair. Oh, okay. lovely. Oh, we do love a bit of hair, don't we, Geordie? I mean, absolutely. Are they all your wigs in the background? That's amazing. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know you had that many wigs, to be honest, Mum. I've got more in the cupboard. Have you? I get them out and dress up there on the night time and talk to me with Same. <laughs> Have you got any um, bad hair pictures to show us from the past? I've got this one, which is the Afro. Oh. Oh, that's gorgeous, that's actually. That's cute. I've never seen that picture of you. Oh, you see, it was in my secret stash. Right. Because I knew you were on Instagram or something and embarrasses. I know, that's what I do. If I find a picture, my mum, I always take a picture and put it on Instagram. It's just because yeah. I love her. I've got this one. Let's see. Oh, oh no. Now, that's one of my favourites. Yeah. I love that. Weren't you, like, the, one of the first women in South Shields or something to have braided hair? I certainly was. So, have you got any um, bad haircuts to show us? The one that comes to mind is the... Lego head bob that I got back in the day. I basically, I mean, you can see Geordie like all my naturally curly hair. The minute I came out the hairdressers and had to do it myself, it was, yeah, yeah game over. So I've sent each one of you one of me wig heads. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I literally want you to make a meal of it. Okay. What, how the hell am I meant to do that? Looks like me out of drag. <laughs> Show me yours. That looks like you out of drag. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're very, very rude. I think you're very, very harsh, Jodie. <laughs> All right then, ma'am. Thanks very much. I'll call you later. Okey dokey. See you, Norma. Bye, ma'am. Love you, bye. All right, Jodie, then. Let's compare our packages. I took everything out of the box and put it in the fridge. Well, that was probably wise, to be fair, because mine's probably smelling a bit now. Right, so we've got some strawberries. Pitted Spanish Queen Olives. Oh! We've got lettuce because health, health, health. Just, I can't bear seafood. Prawns, crab sticks. Literally. Ooh. Not for me. <laughs> and I love prawns. Pickled eggs. Nah. They're amazing. Not for me, hun. You love them. Yeah. Zach's saying that he loves them. Two massive sausages. 
You're welcome. Sounds like a lovely weekend to me. Ah. <laughs> right, I think it's time to have a cheeky cocktail then. I'm going to make a virgin cocktail for our non-drinking viewers. Oh, is the Virgin Mary still got the tomato juice in that in? I think that's the main ingredient. Isn't that what it is? I think so, but not for me, hun. We'll give it a go, though. Mm. <laughs> oh, it stinks. I think it's sort of like three quarts tomato juice, isn't it? I guess yeah. then we add Tabasco sauce. Just why? We get the Worcester sauce. OK. Oh, that smells nice. Does it? I think sort of quite a lot of that, I think. Yeah, then I think you just sort of stir it all together. Cheers. Cheers, Geordie. Delicious. Oh, it's just so wrong. Mm. That's the most disgusting thing I've ever drunk. Or it's not. Mm -mm. Let's get. Should I say cooking or just attempting to throw shit on a wig head? Let's get creative. Let's get creative, yeah. Okay. I have the skewers. I think I'm going to create sort of a wig cap. Very good. Extravaganza with. Um, with the yeah. lettuce. Oh yeah, we're, we're conversing about what I'm going to make, so I'm going to mute you. So, we could use this and create a headpiece and say that you're inspired by the Lady Gaga meat dress. Yeah, that's a good idea. So I've just made Julia Caesar, I've just realised. Oh. <laughs> it's a Caesar salad! <laughs> oh. <laughs> to be honest, I would date him. I don't doubt that for a especially at this point, you know what I mean? Any hole's a goal, isn't it? I know. At this stage of lockdown, I fancy this. <laughs> when I found out I was doing this show, I knew straight away that I'd obviously want you on the show. Aww. One, because we're friends, and two, because to me, you are literally like a British drag culture icon. Thank you. Do you realise how influential you are? I know that I have my niche within modern British drag culture. I can't do the most amazing um, lip sync with a, with a death drop. I definitely have my sort of corner of the market that I can throw the best party yeah. and yeah. you know I'll give you a killer DJ set. But I think British drag culture, it's so rich and it's so varied and it's so different from American drag culture, which yeah. is obviously from pageants and stuff like that. In Britain, we're sort of, you know, Danny LaRue and Lily Savage and the end yeah, of the pier yeah, and um, and I love I love all that you know it's a bit Bet Lynch down you know yeah. down the park. Honestly, I love it. I feel like I'm making some sort of art attack here. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell am I doing? <laughs> this is nuts. Oh, that's very avant-garde, Geordie. Right. <laughs> ah. This is looking quite stunning, to be fair. <gasps> You know there's gonna there's gonna be like an actual gag reel, isn't there? Oh, now my hands smell hammy and fishy. What are we getting? What are we? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Geordie. So uh, now we have a surprise guest for you, a very good friend of yours. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm scared. Yeah, here he is. It's Luke Evans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Basically trying to recreate, well, or create some sort of food headpiece. Very Lady Gaga circa 2004 or something, right? That's what I was going for. That's what I was going for. But um, yeah, thanks for calling up. How is lockdown treating you? Well, I'm in Florida. I've oh. been here for, uh, yeah, I've been here for three months, yeah. Uh, I heard you've been keeping busy during lockdown. I saw you did the, um, some skull shell thing. Oh yeah, very creative me. <laughs> well, there's loads of shells on the beach, like oh. shells. Oh I've yeah, never rub seen it in. in. Like, like crazy shells. I've made loads of necklaces, so uh, everybody's Christmas presents are sorted. Do you know what I've got you for Christmas? What? I've got you a seafood stick. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Thanks that so much. Disgusting. I'm going I'm to hold on to this for you for when you're back. It's going to be uh, rather stinky by the time we get to Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
So Luke, obviously you're the massive, massive movie star. You've done Beauty and the Beast, Fast and Furious, Dracula, so many. Do you have like a top three of like what your favourite roles have been? Dracula was a big one for me because it was my first big leading character in a, in a movie. The Hobbit, just purely because it was The Hobbit, you know, yeah. getting to work with Peter Jackson and, and being in New Zealand for a year of my life, which was just incredible. And um, Obviously, Gaston in Beauty and the Beast. I mean, yeah. just go, going to work it was like going to Disneyland every day for oh. six months, you know? Honestly, that that's my dream. dream. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I love nothing more, nothing more. I had to wear like a full wig every day that they stuck to my head. We like... can relate to that. <laughs> yeah. That's just me wearing a wig bit. Me and Jay's are like, yeah, sounds like work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Will we get to see more of you as Gaston? Well, we have um, a show in development with Disney Plus. Um, which I can't talk very much about because um, the Disney police are everywhere, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's involving um, Gaston and LeFou, but that's about all I can say. Oh, honestly, I can't wait for that. That's so exciting. I'm gagging for it. It was so lovely speaking to you, Luke. Thank you so much for dropping in and saying My hi. My pleasure and happy cooking. Well, lovely to see you both. Thank nice you. to see you, Luke. Bye. Bye. Okay, Jody. I think now's the time we need to get ready. I'll see you soon for dinner. Great. See you then. All right, babes. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's me! I'm just wearing sequins and ah! you are wearing me. Oh my I God, am. The theme this week is hair, hair, all the hair after your iconic hair. The hair really suits you. Is it tight or is it? Honestly, my eyebrows are touching my hairline. I've had a facelift with this on. I'm getting a headache off this. Uh, tell me about it. Why do you think I'm never smiling when I'm in drag? I've had it on for five minutes. Yeah. Jesus. All right, let's get me mum in to judge our wonderful creations. If she had this wig on and all, can you imagine? Yeah. Be so iconic. <gasps> ah! Ah! Pride wig. and all hair, didn't I? <laughs> I love your wig. You look absolutely amazing. <laughs> Who? Which one? We look like twins. You do? <laughs> oh. So, ma'am, are you ready to um, judge our delightful creations? That's me for this. Right, come on then. So, firstly, I'm serving um, Hamatha Christie. She's very much inspired by Lady Gaga. I don't know if you remember, ma'am, the Lady Gaga oh, ham dress. That was raw meat, I felt, wasn't it? She covered herself with yeah. it. Yeah. Was that real? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I've got some stunning prawn earrings. Oh, lovely. Nice, aren't they? Uh huh. Um, and so, like a nice little olive feature on the side there with some cocktail sticks and finish off a delightful strawberry lace necklace. That's very ingenious. That is very creative. Thanks, ma'am. So this this gorgeous character, because of the, the sticks on the head, um, that as you can see, they're a sort of it's bit, almost a bit alien. Um, it's called Little Sticks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> In homage to our host. <laughs> She's got a prawny eyebrow and a, and, and a salami eye and um, some little, um, uh, what are they called? The little tits. Doble, doble boobies and um, pasta hair. And I mean, that is a feast. I, I mean, I love the eyes. I love how you've stick, stuck needles in the eyes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's quite, um, it's, 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 it's almost violent, isn't it? As Very. In, yeah. All right, ma'am, then, do you want to judge with heads? I certainly do. <laughs> right, let it out, ma'am. I'm sensible. I have a drink of water. So the way my mum judges this is she has two cups of tea, filled with tea, she spills the tea and whichever photo she shows at the bottom is the winner. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, so here I go. Yeah, I'm going to give it a stir. I think there's an outright winner here. Then I'm going to spill. <laughs> oh, is that... I think that's you. I think that's me. Oh, thank you. I think you deserve because it's so um, creative. Thank but, but you. You didn't tell us what the story was behind it. If this is look, she just didn't get get through to the next round on the X Factor. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> right, ma'am. I'll speak to you later. Well, thank you so so much, Jodie Harsh, for joining me on my lovely show. Well done for winning. Well deserved. Thank you. Um, I miss you and I'm looking forward to having a night out with you soon. Hopefully. Definitely soon, for sure. Hello, see you later. Bye. Oh, I've just got a whiff of it. It stinks. <laughs>